Well, boys and girls, I think at this point, it is no secret that I love bladed jigs. It's also no secret that I love JDM and Japanese tackle, but there is one secret that I have been keeping from you, and that is secret Japanese bladed jigs that I throw. These are things that I have just not talked about on this channel a whole lot, but I think it is now time to let the cat out of the bag and talk about my deep dive into Japanese bladed jigs and the ones that I have found to be the most effective and or just a really cool tool that kind of fits in the niche of bladed jig fishing and that's what we're going to be talking about tonight not only we're we going to talk about the bladed jigs themselves the attributes the features the cool things about them but we're also going to talk about some trailers and some plastics that i have found that i like to pair up with those bladed jigs that come from the country of japan so before we get into all that, I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your busy day, your busy week to come hang out with me and to watch this video. If you're new to the channel, what's up? My name is Alex Rudd. See Alex Rudd Fishing Channel. I do bass fishing stuff around here. And obviously you're into bass fishing. That's why you clicked on this video. So if you would, please hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that little notification bell. I cannot stress to you enough how important those things are in building a YouTube channel. And that is what I'm trying to do is build a YouTube channel. So if you'll do all of those things, it'll really help me out. Also, for all the people who have been keeping up with me on social media like Instagram and here on the community tab on YouTube, you know I spent all of last week in the great state of Oklahoma. I got to fish with Edwin Evers and Mr. Jimmy Houston and we made some fantastic content while I was there and those videos are coming very very soon what was really cool is Edwin's cameraman and Jimmy's cameraman both filmed for us the days that we fished together and so I've got all of that footage coming to me as soon as I get all of that footage get it all organized downloaded and everything then I can start editing because these videos are going to be epic because not only do you get my perspective you get a third person perspective using really high quality cameras drone work just all kinds of cool stuff and so it's going to take a while for that all to come together but when it does it's going to be awesome so again making sure you're subscribed the little notification bell is hit is going to make sure that you know when that content comes out but without further ado we're here to talk about Japanese Bladed jigs and dad jimmit that is what we are going to do now the first thing that i want to talk about with all of these bladed jigs that i'm going to be talking about is they are all direct to head connections with the blade so just like the original chatterbait all of the blades of the jigs these bladed jigs we're going to talk about are connected directly to the head of the jig and when you look at a chatterbait like a z-man chatterbait the only part of the bait that's actually patented is that direct connection to the head now i know what you're asking yourself alex how do the japanese get away with doing that if that is what is patented well the Japanese do not have to follow American patents, and the Z-Man patent is an American patent, and so thus they can do a direct-to-head connection with the blade, and they can do it in some very unique ways that make these bladed jigs do some crazy things. Another thing that I want to talk about is the fact that these bladed jigs are super hard to get your hands on now, and really this video is kind of ill-timed in the fact that right now we're in the middle of a you know a shipping just disaster as far as shipping goes around the world and in this country a supply shortage on everything that you can imagine including parts to make bladed jigs like this and pretty much anything that's happening international has just slowed down and so if you can find these bladed jigs oftentimes you got to wait a long time for them to show up and so just keep that in mind when you go searching around the internet looking for these i will make sure and try to drop links some two links to some reputable places if they have this stuff in stock but some of the trailers i'm going to talk about like this bad boy which we'll talk about here in just a second actually are on tackle warehouse so i'll make sure and link those below so you can go check them out so the first one that i want to talk about is the jackal break blade the jackal break blade is freaking epic one of the coolest bladed jigs that i've ever used and probably the single best grass bladed jig and shallow water bladed jig that i have ever used and there's a couple reasons for that number one is going to be the attachment point you guys can see there it's that more elongated attachment point which helps that blade to slide up away from that head and then when you put tension on it actually angle it up and out which helps this bladed jig to rise up and want to fish a lot higher up in the water column another cool thing about it is actually the blade size it's a little bit bigger than say your standard chatterbait or jackhammer blade which helps it to not only rise up in the water column and fish a little bit higher but fish a little bit slower and kind of be 
a more lethargic chatter versus that faster chatter that you get out of your jackhammer and the other bladed jig that we're going to talk about here in just a minute and so again this thing is epic in shallow water one of my favorite scenarios to fish in is around grass beds and grass flats where you got that grass that's just below the surface of the water you know in those days they're not really wanting to come up and eat something on top but they want something just right above that grass this is a great bait for you to be able to fish in those areas have that chatterbait sound that chatterbait action but not actually get down into that grass but be able to keep it up higher in the water column another scenario is fall into spring when you got those big massive schools of shad that are up shallow up on those rock flats up on those gravel flats those bass are up there pushing them you can get that bladed jig sound up there and what's so cool is where it rides so high in the water column is that you can bomb this thing out there into a foot of water and keep it up and keep it right below the surface and those bass can come up and react to it which is cool considering that the ones that i like to fish are half ounce and so you can take a half ounce bladed jig and fish it in water less than a foot deep but because the way that blade can separate from the head and the size of that blade helps to keep it higher up in the column you can fish it in super shallow water another really cool thing is the head design on this one you're going to have a more pointed almost arrow style head design which helps it to snake through the grass just amazingly uh, and that's so cool about it is the fact that like with a lot of bladed jigs specifically the jackhammer because it's the one i have the most experience with you can get it through the grass pretty effectively but when it sticks it wants to kind of stick and drag down whereas this thing almost snakes over the top of the grass and if you play the bait with your rod tip and kind of watch it you can actually snake it up over the top of a piece of grass due to the design of that head and it'll just roll over the top of the grass and keep on going which makes it just such a cool tool for that shallow water grass those shallow water flats putting it in areas where you normally wouldn't put a half ounce bladed jig you can put this thing and it's just super cool then again really cool colors it's coming in got that four aught hook in it good hook keeper or bait keeper and all that kind of stuff i mean all the stuff that you want in a bladed jig but i think with this one the biggest thing is going to be that head design that blade design and the attachment point the way it's elongated just turns this thing into a shallow water killer and so that's why i love me a jackal break blade i got a bunch of these in the boat a bunch of different colors cool colors that you just don't see in america and it's something that i love especially this time of year because i'm fishing a ton of grass wanting to fish shallow you guys know me i like shallow water fishing anyway so this is just a tool for that shallow water fishing quick fishing getting that reaction bite and showing those fish a bladed jig in areas where you normally wouldn't fish a bladed jig now my second one is going to be the absolute exact opposite of everything that we just talked about this bladed jig is the depths custom b chatter now this thing unlike your jackal brake blade actually wants to kind of trend down in the water column and, and go down and fish lower in the water column and a lot of that again has to do with the head design the attachment point and the blade so you guys can see there the attachment point on this bad boy is more of a triangular shape and when you put tension on it it actually wants to angle the blade more down and actually helps it to cut through the water in a different way and what i have found is when i'm wanting to fish a bladed jig just a little bit deeper into the column if i'm fishing along a bluff or fishing more vertical styles of cover this is the one that i want to pick up just because that attachment point really lets that blade kind of angle forward cut through that water barrel and it kind of helps it to trend down in the water column just a little bit and then that head design too the head design's super unique because you've got that kind of arrow shape flat on the bottom but as you guys can see it's very flat on top and it has these wings on the side and these wings do a couple things number one it kind of grabs that water helps that bait to kind of trend down and want to kind of go deeper into the water but then number two right on the front those little wings it actually is what the blade hits on and it kind of almost inhibits the action of the blade and gives this thing a super duper fast chatter even faster than the jackhammer and the thunder cricket i thought the thunder cricket was kind of the fastest that i'd ever seen a bladed jig go but this thing is even faster than that and a lot of that has to do with just those little bitty kind of wings right where the attachment point is at inhibits the action of that blade actually being able to articulate completely back and forth and just gives this thing a super duper fast chatter so like i said everything opposite to that jackal brake blade you know, that jackal brake blade really high in the water column shallow around grass 
you know, really kind of slow, lethargic sound. Whereas this one's wanting to kind of push down, trend down, cut through the water a lot better, get a little bit deeper, and have that super fast action. And it just, again, giving those fish a chatterbait style of sound and look in that little bit deeper water. And unlike that jackal break blade, the jackal break blade does a really good job of kind of coming off center and going back to center and deflecting and hunting a whole lot. This thing just doesn't do that as much. And I think a lot of that has to do is that blade's moving really fast and it's really kind of made to stay on center and to track really well and to get in that little bit deeper water. And so when you're fishing a half ounce one of these, you know, it is not ideal for rock banks and stuff like that it wants to dig in a whole lot more and so this is really good for that little bit deeper water where you want to get that bladed jig just a little bit deeper and it's just really cool and then it's got just some cool stuff about it like some cool features number one is going to be your snap there they went ahead and put some shrink wrap on that snap so that thing can't open up which i think is really cool i mean it keeps you from being able to change out your snap but i'm pretty sure that's a, a decoy egg snap so really quality snap you don't have to worry about it but put that shrink wrap on there to keep it from opening up and then you got a living rubber skirt on there which is also really cool you just don't see that a whole lot more in baits. I mean, whether it's spinner baits or bladed jigs or whatever jigs at that, you know, you don't see a ton of living rubber, but you get a, that square living rubber skirt, which just gives it something cool and different. And then the blade, super thin and just slightly smaller than your chatterbait blade, which again, you know, helps it to go just a little bit deeper, helps it to get that, you know, faster action to start up really, really quick. And it's just giving you something that you don't see very often in bladed jigs. And then the last thing is it is equipped with a six aught hook, which is a ginormous hook. But fishing deep, fishing big long casts, you want to make sure that you got a lot of meat and a lot of travel in that hook. And in this bad boy, you are going to have that. Now you'll notice I've got this paired up with a pretty unique trailer. This is actually called a Depths Death Adder. So by the same company, these are actually available on Tackle Warehouse now. Um, not too long ago, they actually brought them into Tackle Warehouse. But a Japanese bladed jig trailer that I picked up and fell in love with. This thing's got a bunch of different sizes. You can get them from like eight inches to four inches to six inches. There's just a bunch of different sizes. But really cool because what's cool about the depth specifically is that the blade is moving super quick very very fast chatter the skirt being that living rubber more square style skirt it's kind of got a slow almost flowing shimmy to it but then you pair it up with the death adder on the back and that little tail i mean you guys can see i barely touch it and it wants to move kind of mimics the action of the blade and so you got the primary action and sound coming from the blade a secondary action coming from that slower moving skirt and then you put that little twitchy tail on the back and it just gives this bait a whole lot of depth and you guys know i love baits with depth because i believe depth is what gets bass to bite things because things in nature have a lot of depth to them like you look at a bluegill it's not just like purple and blue it's purple blue green pink and so i think a lot of action a lot of movement really helps to give this thing a lot of depth and just show those bass again something that they're not seeing very often which that little depth is cool and the exact opposite of that jackal break blade like i said but those two right there really big tools for me this thing shallow water in the grass this thing just a little bit deeper showing those by something that they haven't seen and now this last one is gonna be a surprise to some of you guys because it's a jackhammer not a z-man slash evergreen jackhammer but a true blue evergreen jackhammer this is the jackhammer t G. Now, the Jackhammer TG is super unique because it actually has a tungsten head on it. Now, a lot of people have this misconception that all Z-Man Jackhammers have tungsten heads. They don't. They're all lead heads. Only the TG, the actual evergreen Jackhammer from Japan, has the tungsten head. And at that, I don't believe it's a full tungsten head. It's just a tungsten resin that they actually encapsulate the lead center into. But it gives this bladed jig a really unique sound. It hits just a little bit harder than your standard jackhammer, and then it also comes in some really cool colors. This is the matte black, um, and outside of the matte black, I believe now they have brought all of the JDM colors over to the Z-Man lineup, and so the matte black is the only one that they're missing. But I believe that little bit harder hit in that head from that tungsten resin, those dark colors like that black and stuff, it makes this thing do a little bit better in muddy water. And then two, 
It's just something that those fish haven't heard. And so that TG is super cool. Outside of that tungsten resin head, this bladed jig is exactly like your standard jackhammer. Same snap, same blade, same connection point, same hook, all that kind of stuff. Same bait keeper. I mean, it's all the same except for that TG head and some of those more unique colors, which again, you can get now, which is cool. And actually it's really, really cool because you're, you're getting to see some of these Japanese colors, these Japanese designs coming to America and being able to get your hands on them more easily through places like Tackle Warehouse and not have to order them through importers and pay the extra money for shipping and all of that kind of stuff. But yeah, guys, those are the three. Those are the three that I have found to be the best for me, the most consistent for me. Um, just super cool bladed jigs. And you get that jackal, that depths, I mean, they're just so cool, so uniquely different. You know, a lot of people say, you know, a bladed jig is a bladed jig is a bladed jig, or a chatterbait is a chatterbait is a chatterbait, which is true in some senses, but the Japanese have kind of taken it a step further and have made different head designs and blade attachment point designs and different things to make these things a chatterbait or a chatterbait style tool for a lot of different scenarios and a lot of different situations and made them just really cool. And what's going to be even cooler is when that Z-Man patent finally runs out on the bladed jig and we get to see some of these Japanese companies start to bring this stuff over to America and it comes more readily available for you guys to get your hands on. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Questions or comments, you know where to go. Leave them. I know there'll probably be a lot of questions, a lot of comments about all this stuff. So please go down below. Let me know which one is your favorite. Do you have any JDM bladed jigs that you have imported and are love throwing? What is your favorite bladed jig? Let me know all that down below. Also go down in the description. I'll have links to as much of this as I possibly can. I'll make sure and definitely link the Depths Death Adder. I'll have those down below because you can get a hold of those pretty easily. I'll also link my other favorite bladed jig trailer here. This is the Swim On Kamikaze Swimmer. And then... Also, the Rage Menace, because those are my favorites. I'll make sure and link my bladed jig, rod and reel as well. And then I will try to find some spots that I can link some of these JDM bladed jigs so you guys can go check them out. But like I said, it can be hard to get a hold of them. But as always, you guys are sweet, and thank you for watching.